Hi folks, it's uh, Mike here with another video for you and today I'm out on a Suzuki GSX S1000 GT All Well Motorcycles have uh, very kindly let me take out one of uh, their demonstrators or there's one of Suzuki's demonstrators that's touring around the country This won't be a, a full review but uh, it'll be my first impressions of riding the bike Of course what's happened is I've got on the bike and as soon as I've left the dealership it started to rain so I'm not sure what the footage will be like but we'll give it a go in any case so the first thing I've noticed with this is that uh, I, I rode the uh, predecessor to this the, the, the naked S1000 uh, a couple of years ago and while I like the bike, one of the things I didn't like about it, which is common on a lot of modern bikes, is the fueling or the throttle response at slow speed was very, very snatchy. But uh, I've only had this out for a few minutes now, and I can feel that uh, they've certainly smoothed things out a lot. The naked model was excellent when you were... Uh, riding on the twisty B roads but uh, crawling across town and slow speed stuff it was a bit snatchy So the TFT display that uh, we have on this model has uh, been set to black mode. There is an auto mode where it automatically switches between white background and a black background, but for this time of night the black setting is probably best. So to avoid it keep flicking in and out as we're going towards dusk, we've set it onto manual mode. very light clutch cable operated unlike my uh, Explorer and various other bikes I've had which have uh, got uh, just concentrating on the roundabout for a moment So yes, as I was saying, it's got a, a cable clutch rather than hydraulic, which I'm used to on other bikes. Um, but very smooth, no snatchiness to it at all. This bike has got a, uh, a quick shifter. And we'll uh, have a play with that a little later on. That's a good start to proceedings. So thankfully uh, over the last couple of days we've had quite some heavy rain which has washed most of the salt away um, but there is still some light sand and grit about so I'm just being uh, wary of that particularly here where we've got the uh, the hill 
all the salt and silt all tends to congregate at the bottom of the hill and of course we're on a bend as well so I'm just looking out in case there's uh, any build up and the rain starts to get heavier Well, the bike was immaculate when I picked it up from the dealers, but uh, I don't think it's going to be very clean by the time I get it back. <laughs> Here comes the national speed limit sign, and it's still raining. Lovely smooth acceleration as you'd expect from an inline four. A few reviews have said the bike is very quiet but there's a nice rumble echoing back off the shop fronts through the high street. Very impressive in top gear, extremely flexible. On this larger sweeping B road, it is again silky smooth and holds the line easily.
This section again shows how tractable it is in 5th and 6th gear. Just what you want from a GT Sport Tourer. Time to park up for a few photos. It's disappointing for a GT model not to have a main stand and no option to fit one. I love the look of the bike, you can't beat a full fairing, it's something I miss on my adventure bike. The suspension setup is a bit firm for my tastes and surprisingly is only adjustable with an old fashioned C spanner. I've really become spoilt by the plushness of my Triumph WP semi active suspension. Suzuki have given the GSX Cyclops headlights, where only one comes on for dipped. I'm not a fan. I much prefer the symmetry of dual dip and main beams. White fan man is very close behind. Let's make some space.
Again, the low speed fueling and throttle action is very good. This makes it very easy to trick along in the traffic while I try and figure out the Suzuki's main beam switch. More roadworks. Oh, a gap for me. Don't mind if I do. Good view over the car, down the near side of the next one. Oodlers of the car in sixth gear for an easy overtake. Let's see what it's like on the dual carriageway now. Yet more roadworks. Well, speed restrictions. There's no work taking place. Roadworks end and I'm going a little early for the national speed limit as everyone behind me is accelerating. There's a lot of wind noise. I wonder what the higher screen would be like.
Setting the cruise control is easy, though the buttons to alter the speed seem to require a long press. I'm sure I'll get used to it. The cruise control is rock steady, unlike the Kawasaki H2SX of the road, which wanders a couple of miles over the side of what I've set it to. Time to take the Susie back now. Let's follow that new highway code advice. I've really enjoyed my ride on the GSX and it will be on my short list of bikes when the time comes for the Explorer to go. Its most obvious competitor is the Kawasaki Z1000 ZX, which I haven't ridden for a long time. Another contender would be the Honda NT 1100, but that's never going to be like an inline 4. It's a shame this ride was so wet and the road still littered with fine sand and silt. I think a second ride is required once Orwells has its own demo. Hope you've enjoyed the video, please give me a like and subscribe and leave a question or comment. I try to answer them all if YouTube notifications work correctly. Until next time, keep safe.